I'm here playing NCAA Football 2009 for the PS2, and I'm in a dynasty with the Penn Quakers, an FCS team, and they're really bad. I'm in year two. My team's a C minus, I think, overall. Um, I won my first game. I don't don't remember who. Oh, it was against Duke. I beat them. It was a pretty close game, but. Here I am playing Penn State, uh, of course, you know, in-state matchup, and uh, I just scored a touchdown on this play right here on an option play, QB keeper. That's my true freshman quarterback right there. He's got a 85 speed, if I recall, and uh, that's my true freshman halfback, and they make quite a duo. And, uh, well, my first extra point was no good. It was blocked. And so I need a two-point conversion here to tie the game with four minutes to go. I'm running an option pass. I'll probably get sacked. Though. We'll have a tie ball game. Bentley running the option. They'll make the sack. Well, there's a flag, but that's got to be holding or something. Yep. Well, that sucks. All right, well, I need the defense to hold here. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Number 22 takes from the 10. He breaks it. Their last drive ended when they decided to try for it on fourth down and were turned away by the defense. So it's make or break. You can see at the top where it shows the score. You can see that flashing sets up in the eye. next to uh, on the, where it says pen. And what that means is that I have the momentum and it makes my players play better. Oh, there's a fumble. Oh, Penn State recovers. Boy, they dodged a bullet right wow, there. that would have been a huge play. They have the lead. It's the fourth quarter. They have to protect the ball. Oh, but man. The is doing but anyway, um, Remember, yeah, the more momentum you have, it, it can make your players play better and, and make better plays and stuff. That's a pretty, pretty nice feature. I like it. Here's a draw. All right, big play here, third and short. A nice six-yard gain by the tailback. I'm going to send a blitz up the middle, anticipating a run. I'm going to bring the safeties up. The Nicky Lion come out of the H formation. Oh, he gets it. They'll bring him down. Wow. I almost had him. Time is not quite a factor yet. But I am st I'm still looking at the clock because you know, time's, time's getting pretty low and it is the fourth quarter. Man, he keeps getting all these yards after contact. He's killing me with those runs where I hit him right at the line of scrimmage and he drags a guy for five yards. You can see the player I'm controlling right now is this uh, safety I recruited. Five star safety. He's six foot five and he's like 200 something pounds. He's like 80 something overall. He's pretty much my only real good defensive player. Looks to pass. He's drilled as he throws. And there's the interception. An all user pick right there. Just when I mentioned him. That could be the play of the game right there. Right after I tell you about him, he makes the play of the game. Pontiac game changing performance right there. Wow. All right. We are in business here. They'll go to work Drive, kick a field goal, and I might win this game. And this would be quite an upset. There's a missed tackle. Is back. Oh, what a juke. And he's taken down. Nice effort by the halfback. Holly. Curtis Holly. 
second and four. I still have enough time to run the ball. Which is nice because my passing game sucks pretty bad. Alright, first down. Nice stiff arm there by Holly. I'll go with another option play. I'm running mainly an option offense because pretty much my only two good offensive players are my quarterback and my halfback. Oh, wow. That didn't work. They got me that time. If only I could have pitched it. My fullback is actually pretty decent. He's like a 80-something overall. But his speed is in the 60s, so he kind of sucks at running and stuff. Pennsylvania lines up for the shotgun set. Down to left. He laterals the ball. A little juke. Breaks one. Wow, he somehow, somehow got almost back to the line of scrimmage there. All right, time's getting low, third and long. This is huge play. I'm looking for Holly here. Come on, he makes the grab, he jukes the man, and he, he's going, and he's all the way down, almost to the 30-yard line. Oh, my gosh. What a play. Holy cow. Can you believe that? Wow, look at this move right there. Balls over a man, leaps over him, drags the tackler for another five yards. What a play. We're almost already in field goal range. My God, I might win this game. This could be my greatest upset of all time. I mean, usually I'll get these kind of wins in like my third or fourth season with an FCS team. Oh no, dang it, I did not need that. Shoot, oh come on. I'm going with an option here. I know the time's running out, but... Uh, oh, I have to audible because Holly's out of the game because of fatigue. My backup sucks ass. Come on. Option pass. Oh, he sheds the tackle. And it's dropped! Oh my gosh, no way! What a play by the quarterback, and the wide receiver chokes at the most critical moment of the game. Let's look at the replay here. You can see the option pass. The defender hits him, he shakes off the man, throws it at the last second, a perfect pass. Oh, it just it hits him right in the chest. Wow. Like I said, I really don't have a passing game because my wide receivers are all terrible. Wow. That would have put me in field goal range. I would have won the game if you would have caught that. Oh, Holly's still not in the game? Come on. Uh, come on. Looking. Rolls to the left. Come on, catch that! Yes! Oh my gosh, the backup! Inside the five! Wow, can you believe it? The backup halfback making his only play of the whole game here at the end where it all matters. And I've got Penn State on the ropes here. Can you believe this? 20 seconds to go. There he goes! Oh, he's in! Touchdown! And the Penn Quakers have gone up on Penn State. Can you believe that? And with 17 seconds to go, this place is in a state of shock. And here's the Pontiac game-changing performance for today's game. And they're lining up for the PAT. This is just like Appalachian State upsetting Michigan. Can you believe it? And the Quakers go up by five with 17 seconds to go. What a drive. That play by Holly on third and long. 
Just make the tackle on this kickoff. And we should be good. Alright, 14 seconds to go. Now see, if this was NCAA 13, I guarantee you they'd do something stupid like a halfback draw. Alright, here we go. I only have like four cornerbacks, so my backup halfback is in the game here when I run prevent. Look at the throw. Oh, that could have been caught. Good, good pressure by the lineman there. 11 seconds to go. It's looking good. It is looking good. He drops back. Steps up. Looks. He's hit. It hit. Down he goes. With five seconds to go. The three-man rush gets there. I think that was a coverage sack right there. And this will most likely be the last play of the game. And barring a, one of the worst hit defensive collapses in the history of NCAA football, the game will be over, and this one is intercepted, and the Penn Quakers are going to win. And he's going all the way. It's a touchdown. And the fans are storming the field. Can you believe that? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. What an upset. The Penn State Nittany Lions fall to the Penn Quakers. And the quarterback can't believe it. I'm telling you, these guys are for real. Oh my goodness. And I hope you can join us again. What a thrilling finish. Pennsylvania 28. Penn State 17. 28 to 17, the final score. I'd like to thank you.